right students uh, good morning once again i'm mr smith principal of petra Training institute and a mathematics teacher as well today we are looking at basic trigonometry identities okay we are looking at basic trigonometry identities this does not specifically talks about uh, identities that falls under igcsc or es or a level we are looking at the basic trick identities in general so it will cut it will cut across igcse es and then a level so we are looking at all the levels together so when it gets to your level you just enjoy it all right let's start we have our right angle triangle okay anytime we are talking about uh trigonometry a bit of pythagoras theory will fall in all right so this is our right angle triangle and we know the right angle triangle has got names depending on where we have our angle only one of the names of the right angle triangle is fixed that is the longest side and the side that faces the 90 degrees the longest side and at the same time facing the 90 degrees is always referred to as hypotenuse so our a our a is hypotenuse okay hypotenuse and then you can see clearly that this angle is facing the b okay the angle here which is theta is facing b so we can say that b is equal to opposite it is opposite the angle theta now if we take this line that is the length c we can see that we have two angles on the same line right so the angle theta is nearer to the angle 90 another word for nearer is adjacent so we can say that c is adjacent all right so now we know that our a is hypotenuse our b is opposite and then our c is adjacent now we should bear in mind that always the only part that is fixed is our hypotenuse if i decide to bring my theta here then of course this is going to be my opposite this is going to be my adjacent but for this right angle triangle this is our opposite this is our adjacent and then our hypotenuse all right let's look at some basic trigonometric identities for instance if i want to find sine theta then sine theta we are going to use some shortcut that is so so here means o represent opposite and h represent hypotenuse so what it means is that sine theta is equal to opposite upon hypotenuse okay now let's come to cos so if we are looking for cos theta cos we are going to use k so we are building something that is going to help us to easily uh, write the identities so k k means adjacent and then hypotenuse what it means is that cos theta will give us adjacent over hypotenuse all right let's come to the last one which is tan okay so our tan theta will be equal to okay we are using toa so now we have so ka toa right so toa means our o is opposite and then our a is adjacent so we can say that tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent now we are going to use our sine cos and tan together with this right angle triangle to get more trigonometric identities this is also going to help us to prove further trig identities in our next class